The augment system in Black Ops 6 Zombies have had that the biggest game changer to the mode, adding 108 unique upgrades to every perk, field upgrade, and ammo mod. But with so much information released and this system being a little complicated, I'm bringing you a very streamlined and very clear and concise video explaining everything you need to know about augments. And some of these upgrades even allow you to have Electric Cherry, Dying Wish, Ethereal Razor, and the old school Zombie Shield back. So let's start right at the beginning. What exactly are augments? Well, augments are unlockable gameplay advantages advantages that you can apply to every perk, ammo mod, and field upgrade in the game, making them even stronger than the normal versions, but also making them extremely customizable to your type of gameplay. Every single perk, ammo mod, and field upgrade have six augments in total, and in order to unlock all six augments for each item, you need to go through something called augment research. This is a menu system that you unlock once you reach level 11. Inside this menu, you'll see every single field upgrade, ammo mod, and perk -a cola option, with every item item having six augments for you to unlock. These augments are broken down into three major augments and three minor augments. A major augment offers a substantial advantage to the behavior of the item, and a minor augment offers a limited advantage. The major and minor augments are visually represented by the major augments being a blue color and minor augments being a yellow color. As you can see with this example for energy mine, in order to unlock all six augments being the three major and the three minor, you have to initiate the augment research to first unlock the first augment in the tree, which is frequency boost. In order to unlock progress towards unlocking the augments for any item such as energy mine, you simply select the item you'd like to research in this menu. And when you're in game, you'll start earning XP in game, which will make progress towards unlocking that augment. Once you've earned the required XP in game to unlock the individual augments, you'll then be able to choose the specific major and minor augment that you want to apply to the specific item before the start of a match. Unlike Cold War's permanent upgrade system where every item could be upgraded to tier 5 with its own permanent upgrades, you have to individually choose one specific major upgrade and one specific minor upgrade to each item. So across the board, all these items won't have every single upgrade like they used to in Cold War. Let's now go over every known major and minor augment for every perk, field upgrade and ammo mod. But remember, out of the major and minor augments, you can only choose one out of the three from each list. Let's first start with perks and with Juggernog. And this is where we see the return of the old school zombie shield if you choose that specific upgrade. Now remember, as we go through the list of every item from major and minor, you can only pick one out of the three from each. So for Juggernog, we have Probiotic, which slightly increases your max health, which means it could possibly be an extra 150 HP instead of 100. Turtle Shell, where armor acts as a shield on your back, completely absorbing damage to your back. No damage is mitigated when hit from the front. So that is extremely interesting. It doesn't sound like you'll visually have a shield on your back, but it mimics the sensation of using the old school zombie shield on your back, but it's using the armor plate system. And reactive armor, where when an armor plate breaks, nearby normal enemies are stunned for a short time, which also sounds similar to Victoria's Tortoise, a perk from Black Ops 4 Zombies. Remember, you can only choose one of those three listed here for the major org and for minor augments, we have Retaliation, where you deal bonus damage while health is low, Hardened Plates, where your plates have more damage mitigation, or Durable Plates, which slightly increase your armor durability. Moving on to Stamina, where with major augments, you can choose to either have Free Faller, where you become immune to full damage, which is part of the PhD Flopper perk effects that we also saw as an upgrade in Cold War Zombies, Dasher, which increases your tactical sprint duration, or Stalker, where you walk faster while aiming. Now, now that last one may not sound too useful, but when we got to play early, it was considerably noticeable that whilst you were aiming, you did walk pretty slow. So being able to move faster whilst you're aiming down sights in zombies is pretty dang useful. And for minor augments, we have hard target, where while tack sprinting, projectile damage is reduced, quarterback, where using equipment while sprinting, or hot foot, which gains a speed boost after your equipment kills an enemy. Moving on to speed cola, for major augments, we have super charged, which allows field upgrades to recharge a bit faster, classic formula, which makes the reload speed even faster, and phantom reload, where the weapon magazine is slowly refilled over time. This sounds like a weird hybrid of the mags of holding schematic from Modern Warfare Zombies, which if that works in the same way, that is a very useful augment to choose. Jumping to minor augments, we have speedy roulette, which makes the mystery box settle much faster, which is integrating the time slip perk from Black Ops 4 Zombies, which had the same ability, quick swap, which allows you to swap your weapons faster, and fast pitcher, which allows you to deploy equipment faster. 
for Deadshot Daiquiri, the major augments are Deadhead, which further increases its critical damage. Dead First, where you deal double crit damage if an enemy is at full health. And Dead Again, where critical hits have a chance of adding a bullet to your magazine. In theory, all three of these are incredibly powerful options, but that final one sounds like it would be extremely lucrative, reducing the amount of times you'd need to reload. Now, forgive me if I'm interpreting this incorrectly, but with the description of Dead First dealing double critical damage if an enemy is at full health, the very concept of dealing double critical damage almost sounds like Treyarch are slightly adding in a double tap effect with this specific augment, where ever since Black Ops 4 Zombies, the double tap perk has been completely removed. So for me, it really is between Dead First and Dead Again, where you can either have a similar style double tap effect for enemies at full health only, or having your critical hits having a chance of adding an extra bullet to your mag. For minor augments, we have Dead Break, which increases damage to armor pieces, Dead Draw, which reduces hip fire spread, and Dead Set, which reduces your your guns movement while performing advanced movement. In theory, that last one would also mean that you would be able to start shooting your weapon quicker once you've performed advanced movement or whilst, which could be very useful and almost replicate the movement and fluidity we've seen in previous zombies games like Black Ops 3 zombies. Moving on to quick revive for major augments, we have EMT, where reviving an ally allows them to keep all of their perks on their bleed out bar, equivalent exchange where killing a zombie while downed will revive you and remove quick revive and this can be done up to three times. This is very interesting as this mechanic was also in Cold War, but there wasn't a limit to how many times you could do this. You could buy Quick Revive as many times as you lost it and you would always have this benefit, but now this is limited to three uses in game. And Dying Wish, where on lethal damage, become immune to all damage for two seconds and keep one health. Quick Revive is removed on use, which is the return of another Black Ops 4 perk, Dying Wish. For minor augments, we have Swift Recovery, where reviving an ally increases increases both of your movement speeds for a short time. Karmic Return, where reviving an ally heals you to full health, which is very powerful, especially if you're reviving someone whilst you're covered in zombies that are hitting you whilst you're doing that. That is very powerful. And Slow Death, which increases your time in Last Stand. As far as I'm aware, this is the first time that you've ever been able to increase the time that you're down in Last Stand for in Zombies. But that Karmic Return sounds absolutely OP. Moving on to Elemental Pop for Major Augments, you have Citrus Focus, where if a weapon has an ammo mod applied, Elemental Pop will only activate that ammo mod, which is a fantastic upgrade. Imperial Peach, where enemies that hit you have a chance to trigger a random ammo mod, or Electric Cherry, which essentially gives you the Electric Cherry perk, where reloading creates an electrical damage charge around you that damages and stuns nearby enemies. The emptier the mag, the stronger the damage. For minor augments, we have Volnera Beam, where it slightly increases the enemy elemental weakness damage. Pineapple Blast, where equipment can also trigger a random ammo mod, which is a very cool concept, and Chill Berry, which slightly reduces all your ammo mod cooldowns, meaning that the ammo mods will activate more often. Moving on to PHD Flopper, the major augments are Gravity MD, where just falling from heights creates explosions, giving us that OG PHD Flopper effect. Dr. Ram, where tactical sprint will knock down and damage base zombies, making you a bit like an American football player, or PHD Slider, which simply converts the perk into slider with sliding into enemies triggers explosions over falling from heights. For minor augments we have environmentalist where you become immune to environmental damage while sliding which I think is going to be a very useful one depending if there's any environmental damage that could be added in certain areas like boss fights. EDD technician which slightly reduces your height and distance requirements for explosions meaning you'll be able to perform those classic dolphin dives from much easier smaller heights and distances. And tribologist where sliding distance and speed are increased. Now this could also be a huge one to have simply because this sounds like it could replicate the movement of Black Ops 3 zombies. But people love being able to chain that slide movement to move quicker around the map and it sounds like this is the closest thing to having that. And the final perk augments in the list is Melee Macchiato. For major augments, Expresso makes all melee attacks slightly faster. Vampiric Extraction where melee attacks heal a small amount of your health or triple shot where your punch can hit multiple 
multiple enemies at once. Vampiric Extraction sounds absolutely OP, where if you're stuck in a corner by simply meleeing zombies, you'll be given health back as well as your health regening naturally, which could actually really save you in certain scenarios. And moving to minor augments, we have Stick and Move, where back pedal speed is increased after a successful melee, Strength Training, where your punch can one hit kill normal enemies for longer, and Hidden Impact, where melee kills reload a portion of your held weapon. And that last one sounds incredibly useful because generally you would use the melee if you were stuck in an area where you had to just use that as an option because you were mid reload. Let's now move on to the ammo mod augments where there are five ammo mods in total. Brain Rot, Cryo Freeze, Deadwire, Napalm Burst and Shadow Rift. Starting with Brain Rot which you can use as an ammo mod at level 27. The major augments are Plague where the charmed enemy has a chance to turn other enemies. Ferrom where the charmed enemy distracts nearby normal and special enemies for a short time. Or Big Game where Brain Rot will be able to charm elite enemies. Meaning you could turn it the biggest enemies in the game such as Abominations and Amalgams to be completely friendly. Which to me sounds like the best choice. For minor augments we have Extension where the Brain Rot duration is slightly increased. Haste where the cooldown is slightly reduced. Or Explosive where charmed enemies explode at the end of Brain Rot's duration dealing toxic damage. To me it's a no brainer to combine Explosive where charmed enemies explode at the end of the duration and big game where you'll have that effect with massive elite enemies exploding, making this the most effective combo of ammo mods for brain rot. Moving on to cryo freeze that you unlock at level 14. The major augments are big game where again cryo freeze can slow elite enemies, ice cloud where enemies that are killed while frozen will leave a cloud that slows enemies, and frozen stiff where enemies are frozen in place. For minor augments we have extension which slightly increases the slow duration, freezer burn which slightly increases damage to frozen enemies, and liquid nitrogen which significantly increases your chance for cryo fees to activate. Again I would choose the augments that slow elite enemies as well as slightly increase the damage to frozen enemies. Moving on to deadwire which is available immediately from level zero. Major augments are chain lightning where the stunned enemy can spread the stun to others like the wonder Wolf. Big game which again can stun elite enemies and lightning strike where a bolt of lightning strikes from above stunning all normal and special enemies in the area. This one sounds like the most OP one to choose. And for minor augments, we have high voltage where dead wire slightly deals more damage, haste where the cooldown is slightly reduced, or extension where the sun and electric field lasts longer. Moving on to napalm burst that you unlock at level 6. The major augments are big game where again it can burn elite enemies, thermite which increases the burn effect damage which sounds like a very powerful one to choose, or firebomb where burnt enemies explode on death spreading the fire to nearby enemies that also sounds extremely OP. For minor augments, we have extension which increases the burn duration, incendiary where each damage tick has a small chance to spread to a nearby enemy, and contact burn where the initial burn effect deals more damage. The final ammo mod and the new one for Black Ops 6 is Shadow Rift that you unlock at level 44. The major augments are big game where it can activate on elite enemies, topple danger where warp one enemy that deals shadow damage to others, and explosive rain where enemies that are dropped from portals will explode on contact with the ground which sounds funny and powerful. Minor augments, we have haste where the cooldown is reduced, targeted which dropped enemies will fall on other enemies which also sounds hilarious, and super massive where the lethal radius is increased and can kill more enemies. From what we've seen so far, the actual ball that the Shadow Rift ammo mod creates isn't that big, so super massive as a miner might actually be the one you'll want to rock. Moving on to field upgrades, we have five in total, Aether Shroud, Frenzied Guard, Dark Flare, Healing Aura, and Energy Mine. And these field upgrades are already powerful as is, but some of these are upgrades are genuine game changers, starting with Aether Shroud, where the major augments are Group Shroud, where nearby players are also cloaked when you activate Aether Shroud, which sounds so OP for people that are not rocking the same field upgrade, Burst Dash, where you walk forward a short distance, killing all normal enemies in your path when you're using Aether Shroud, or Void Stealth, where swap to your dedicated melee weapon as it's imbued with dark Aether energy. Kills allow you to stay in Aether Shroud for longer. In my opinion, this is without doubt the most OP augment that you could choose for this because if you melee zombies whilst you're cloaked you will stay in Aether Shroud for longer and this could be a game changer for doing some incredible revives but you might just need a little bit of a 
for longer amount of time in ether shroud in order to pull it off and this allows you to extend it for an incredibly long amount of time if there are zombies nearby to quickly take out with this melee weapon imbued with dark ether energy for minor augments there is instant reload where activation instantly reloads your currently held weapon where that sounds extremely powerful extra charge which increases your max charges by one or extension where the duration is significantly increased in ether shroud combining this extension minor augment with the void stealth major could be the most overpowered version of ether shroud that we have ever seen moving on to the new field upgrade dark flare the major augments are extension which significantly increases its duration supernova where the beam is replaced with a sphere that damages nearby enemies as it travels the ball detonates at the end of the duration which sounds a little bit similar to the cerberus ball that would follow you when you use that wonder weapon in maui Toten, and dark pact where beam heals and revives other players on contact which almost sounds like another version of healing aura you'd physically use it whilst aimed at downed players in order to revive them on minor augments we have broad beam which significantly increases the size of the beam heavy shadow where the beam slows enemies on contact and extra charge which increases its max charges by one moving on to frenzied guard which you unlock at level nine the major augments are phalanx where teammates can also repair armor from kills while near you whilst you have frenzy guard active retribution which triggers an explosion upon activation normal enemies me melee the player are damaged and knocked down and frenzy fire whilst while frenzied use ammo from your stock which sounds a little bit like ring of fire notice how that is not mentioned anywhere in the field upgrade so it sounds like that is gone but it's now been sort of added into frenzied guard for minor augments repair boost which repairs more armor per kill extension which increases its duration or rally where upon activation repair all nearby teammates armor to full which is an extremely powerful thing to have honestly it really is between repair boost for that armor or rally for me moving on to healing aura which you unlock at level 33 the major augments are resilience where all affected players have their health regen delay reduced and the rate of healing increased temporarily enduring radiance where the beams and their healing effects persist for a short time after leaving the area of effect and persistence where revive players keep all perks on their bleed out bar that last one ties in again to an effect that was with one of the perk augments so it's crazy that there is crossover there you can mix and match and have some abilities across both across different bits of equipment for minor augments we have inner strength where affected player damage is slightly increased for a short time protection where healed players have damage slightly mitigated for a short time and stoic presence where on activation special and elite enemies are stunned while normal enemies are knocked down that sounds very powerful and last but by no means least energy mine which is unlocked immediately the major organs for that are scatter where the energy mine will split into three mines that scatter and detonate one time each turret where instead of an energy mine you will deploy a energy turret that shoots at the nearest enemy which sounds crazy and carousel where three energy mines will float around you detonating while an enemy is nearby we've seen gameplay of this one via a short form video in august and honestly all three of these sound absolutely fantastic and for minor augments frequency boost which will increase the duration as well as increase the detonation count of energy mine extra charge which will give you an extra charge of the field upgrade and siren where energy mine now attracts nearby normal enemies for a short time which will obviously allow you to take out more zombies more effectively when using that field upgrade that is all 108 augments that will be available to unlock at the game's launch but with that wording it sounds like there will be even more augments to unlock as the seasons go on that could potentially add even more game changing upgrade abilities to specific perks field upgrades and ammo mods but with the plethora of information we got from the zombies blog very recently the augment explanation may have been a little bit confusing so i wanted to completely clear it up and give you the clearest explanation on exactly how they work how to unlock them and the best options to use when the game launches i'd love to know your favorite augment options from this video in the comments below and your thoughts on this system if you want to learn even more about black Ops 6 zombies then click this video appearing on your screen right now